Praise the Lord, precious saints, and welcome to another daily prophetic utterance to start your day. The Lord is saying today, you are currently in a valley of decision within this hour, my child. Yes, I am leading multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. At times, it feels your life is leading you to a season of change ahead. My child, you have felt like you've wasted years of your life, maybe in the wrong job, hanging around the wrong people, or even regret of doing the wrong things or making the wrong decisions. My church, I will restore all things. That is my purpose, to restore you. That's right, I will gather those years and restore them back to you. For every bad thing that has happened in your life, know that I have even protected you from worse. Therefore, allow me to bring healing and freedom to your weary soul to do the final touches and help turn your ashes to beauty. I will take those experiences that the enemy meant for your harm and turn around and use for your good. I will make you stronger, wiser and better off than you were before. I will launch you further into your destiny than before. So be encouraged today because all things are possible with me and nothing you go through is ever wasted. Yes, I am going to show up and show off in your life. Yes, quickly, I will do a new work. Maybe looking back today, you've looked and thought of how many times in your life that you've fallen flat on your back, backed into your corner or down on your luck and been hard pressed from every side or even the vision that looks so far away from ever coming to pass in your life. Every time that you have fallen, I was there. For I will never leave you nor forsake you. But you have paid no attention to the fact that I was there with you. There are many times you have forgotten. Yes, flat on your back, you stay looking for your strength to go on. As long as you do not look beyond yourselves, you will never see what I have for you. As long as you stay in the valley, you will never have that mountain top to experience. Yes, every valley that I make you walk through, there are always mountain tops I will raise you up to walk upon. I have promised to be with you. Even when it feels the valleys are dark and lonely, I have promised to be there with you, to comfort you and tell you everything is going to be all right, my child. For though you walk through the valley of the shadow of death, you will fear no evil, for I am with you, my rod and my staff to comfort you. So get up, my child, and taste and see. Look around, yes, taste and see, that I am the Lord who is great and good things plan that I have for you. Learn to grow in the valley. Don't just stay there. There are mountains to experience, my child. Trust me. I will sometimes close doors first before opening new doors. When this happens, you must walk in faith knowing that my timing is always perfect. Maybe you've had some doors close in your life. In spite of everything, know that I will always stir you to accomplish my purpose in your life. Remember, I know what it takes to bring your life into perfect order. So you must trust me through each and every day. I am working on something. And when I am done, everything around you will be made better. You may, me, may not be 100% sure about the plans for your life at times that I have for you, but I have a purpose for you and everything you are passing through is for a reason. I will turn your worry into worship, for I have you, my child. This year is going to be filled with hope of answered prayers, breakthroughs and miracles as you keep your eyes upon me alone. 
I am fighting your battles and arranging things in your favor and making a way even when you don't see it. The promises that you've been standing on and the dreams that you have been praying about, I will cause things to fall into place. That's right. I will make things happen that you could never make happen in your own strength or on your own. I am with you. So arise and move towards your mountains today. Shalom. Praise the Lord, precious saints. The Valley of Decision. In the book of Joel, chapter 3, verse 14, says multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Hallelujah. Yes, you may have heard it used in a crusade when someone is bearing witness it's time for you to make an urgent decision, a personal decision to follow Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. But let's go a little bit further because as we read in today's verse, the valley of decision is the valley of Jehoshaphat. This is not a literal valley, but one that is used as a symbol of God's judgment. Jehoshaphat means the Lord judges. So even more important, the decision in today's scripture reading is not just a decision by people who are gathered, but the the people of the nations are gathered before the judge of all nations. So there is only one person who renders a decision, and that's the judge. The Lord God is the one who decides. This does not mean that we have no decisions to make in our relationship with God. It simply means our commitment to God is a response to the verdict our judge has given. In the valley of decision, God has declared us innocent. Jesus was judged in our place. So how can we not love a God who who has loved us, that has sent his only begotten son to die for us, who can deliver us from every valley, that can bring us to those mountain tops, that can bless us and bring us through whatever darkness, bring us from ashes to beauty, bring us from mourning to joy. God has a plan for your life and he is leading you, but it's up to you to make that decision and know that Jesus has finished it on the cross. It's up to you to move forward and say, God, I want to move where you want me to move. Heavenly Father, I thank you for each person that is listening today. Lord Jesus, you are the way to God. Your blood paid our ransom. And in you, we face our judgment and make her unafraid. Thank you for giving us the life that we have in you today. Father, release a mighty spirit of revival, even over our families, our neighborhoods, our governments, and our entire body of Christ. Arouse the unconcerned everywhere. Lord, I pray today in the name of Jesus, you will stir up your fire within us. Lord, I thank you for those that are in the valley of decision and those that are nearest to eternity without you. Bring them on their knees that they may come to know that you are the judge and that you've paid it all on the cross, that they may have hope in you of a new day. Lord, I pray in the name of Jesus, Lord, that you will stir up revival within each person's heart today that they may know Lord with you they can do all things through Christ who strengthens them. Father bless each person today no matter what they are going through no matter the hardship Lord you have promised to come and perfect your work through every experience that they are going through now. Lord for those that are hopeless Lord give them hope today. For those that have given up Lord give them the strength to carry on. Give them the grace to overcome every temptation, every sin that is before them today. Lord, I pray for a revival. You will stir up their spirits. Every demon in hell will flee. For the Bible says one will put a thousand to flight. Two will put 10,000 to flight. Holy Spirit, we pray that you will intercede on our behalf today with groanings that cannot be uttered, that you will lead us into the perfect will of the Father. Oh, Father, we thank you. We give you all the praise for sending us your son. That's right. His blood paid our ransom. And in you, we face our judge, Jesus, and make her unafraid. Thank you for giving us the life that we have in you today. Hallelujah. 
Amen. This is Pastor Robert Clancy from Narrow Path Ministries in Perth, Western Australia. It is time to catch the fire of repentance revival as we prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Shalom, shalom, shalom. And if you've liked this utterance today, we encourage you also to forward it to a friend. You can subscribe to our channel by going to the YouTube. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or go to our free website at www.repentancerevival.com. And don't forget, we have the up and coming three day fasting, which is on the 18th, the 19th and the 20th of this month. You can either do a partial fast, which is from six to six every day on water, or you can do the full fast, whatever it is, there's no pressure. Or maybe you can't even do that. Maybe you just want to fast up to lunchtime. Just participate, just join. And as you start to build up your strength, you'll start to be able to fast longer and endure longer. God will give you the grace, but be encouraged today as you partake and partake Take of the promises that God may bring an awakening to you, an awakening to your marriage, awakening to your family, your children, your churches, your nations, your cities, and the nations of the earth. Let us prepare. Hallelujah. So God bless you from my family to yours. Shalom, shalom, shalom.